In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to emulate a light wrap effect within a composition. This effect is most obvious around the edges of layers composed against backlight. We start from a simple composition that doesn't have this natural effect. First, we generate the mask that we need. The idea is to generate a mask of the outline of the shape. If we blur a mask, its edges will blur, contracting and expanding at the same time. What we want is just the contraction effect of the blur. To achieve this, we add a copy of the layer and combine it with a blurred copy using channels. In the channels effect, we define the combination mode as AND. Now when we change the radius of the blur, we notice that the mask doesn't expand, it just contracts. The combination of the original layer with the blurred one achieves this effect. Using the channels effect, we invert the second input with the parameter invert Y. Now we've got exactly what we want, a mask that erodes the edge of the figure to be composed. We can also control the intensity of this new mask with the parameter scale. The next step is to generate a copy of the background and blur it. This is easy to do with the Gaussian blur effect. We assign the mask of the edge that we created as mask of the copy of the blurred background. We add a new channels effect where we define the parameter alpha x as A2. This assigns as the first input the mask of the second input. Now we have two blur effects that control different characteristics of the flow. One controls the blurring of the background and the other controls the size of the edge or outline. Finally, we add a copy of the original figure to be composed. So the resulting flow has three components, the background, the figure itself, and the new border that will generate the light wrap effect. If we reduce the blur of the background, we'll see an effect of transparency around the border, which is not what we want. So for this reason, the blur of the background should always be a sufficient value to lose details in the background. The other blur effect controls the size of the light wrap effect. And from the channels effect that combines the masks, we define with the parameter scale the intensity of the light wrap effect. So with a bit of patience, we can define definitively how the effect looks. So, to end this tutorial, we can generate a template, replacing the copies of the figure with dummy 1 and replacing the copies of the background with dummy 2. Remember that to create the template group, all the clips must have the same length. Now we position within the group template the two original clips, and we can change the name of the group from the Attributes menu of the clip, calling it Light Wrap. If we want to reposition the figure, we can simply add a Comp3D effect to this layer, defining the effect without background and the fusion mode of layer 1 as pre-multiplied. When we move the layer, 
we notice that the light wrap effect updates according to the position of the layer, thanks to using the system of instances that the dummy effects allow.